Okay, just a quick um, well, how to long divide. All right, we did this in class the last two days, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's take a polynomial like I'm making this up, so this is going to be the worst example ever because I haven't tried it. So let's try. Wait, time out. Okay, I found one. All right, so here's our polynomial. So we want to factor it into, so it looks like it's in factored form. That way we're able to find roots and graph things eventually. But first let's just practice our long division. Okay, so first we have to use the factor theorem to figure out a value of x that will let us um, factor it. Okay, so we're just gonna look at this last constant here, value minus six. We're gonna think of multiples of six, things that multiply to six, to try to get our um, value for our factor theorem. So let's try plus or minus one. So let's try one. So if we sub in a one, we get one cubed plus two times one minus five times one minus six, which ends up being one plus two minus five minus six, which is not gonna work. So let's try negative one. Negative one cubed plus two times negative one squared minus five times negative one minus six leaves us with negative 1 plus 2 plus 6 minus 6. Huh. I thought that was going to work. Okay, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't make a mistake. Let's try 2. Okay, sweet. I think two works. I feel like I did this one already. So anyway, 16 minus 16. Cool. So, since two worked, that means that x minus 2 is one of our factors. So we're going to divide this equation by x minus 2. Okay, here we go x minus 2 divided by all this. Okay, so how many times does x go into x cubed? x squared times, or another way to think about that is what's x cubed divided by x? x cubed divided by x is equal to x squared, because you're just subtracting your exponents. Okay, so we got that figured out, and if you're using You just did the division part. You divided those terms and got x squared. Next, we're moving on to the multiplication. So now we multiply this x squared term up top by each of these values on the left. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. That's our multiplying. Now we're subtracting. All right, so we want to know x squared minus, or sorry, x cubed minus x cubed is zero. Perfect, those should always go away. And then 2x squared minus negative 2x squared is really like 2 plus 2, so that gives us 4x squared. And the next one is bring it down. So we bring down the minus 5x, and we start this whole thing all over again. So now we divide 4x squared by x to get the term on the top. Um, so 4x squared divided by x. I canceled out when x squared to 4x, so positive 4x. Um, that was the divide. So now we're multiplying. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 2 is negative 8x. We're subtracting. So the first two terms should always cancel out. So 4x squared minus 4x squared. And then the next two terms, negative 5 take away negative 8 is actually like negative 5 plus 8, which leaves us with 3x. Those are multiple and subtract, right? 
me to subtract it. Okay, so the next step is to bring it down. So minus 6. Um, and then we just go through this all over again. So we're back to the division. So 3x divided by x will be positive 3. That's the division. Multiplying. So 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Subtracting those gets us 0, which is good because we didn't want to have a remainder. That's why we did the remainder theorem. So now this, num this polynomial is important and so is this because it turns out mm -hmm, that's where our polynomial factored into. So it was x cubed plus 2x squared. And now we factored it into x minus Now we just want to back it here. And since it's a simple trinomial, I'm just going to find two things that multiply to 3 and add to 4. So I'm thinking 3 times 1. Okay, factor that whole polynomial. So before we wouldn't have been able to graph this. Now we know there's a root at 2. Uh, third degree positive leading coefficient. So we're going to end up with one. There you go. So that's just a quick explanation, semi quick, of long division. Um, you can do it with x to the fourth, x to the fifth uh, degree functions, like uh, whatever you want. But x to the fourth is a bit time consuming because once you're done you're going to be left with a still an x cubed thing so you'll have to do more long division and if you're watching this i actually never mind okay the end